Hello you all, so today's tutorial is going to be on how to make this really cute fitted skirt with an elastic waistband. What I love about this skirt is even though it have elastic in the waist, you cannot see it. And it also hugs the waist to accentuate your curves. Also make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And also turn on your notifications so you can be notified when I upload a new tutorial every week. But before I get started, I also want to let you guys know to check out these two videos that are on my channel. You can click the video or you can click the link down below in the description. Now let's get started. So for this look, you're going to need your favorite skirt or you can use a skirt pattern. And you want to take that and place it on the fold of your fabric. So I have two fabrics that are folded in half. And so when I cut it out, it's going to be two pieces. And so make sure that when you cut it out that you're adding seam allowance. And I did about a half inch seam allowance. And I added about an extra inch and a half on the waist for the elastic. And a few inches down below for hemming. And so this is pretty much what it's looking like. Two pieces cut all at once. So next what I'm going to do is take my fabric and place it right sides together and pin along the sides on both sides. And once you have done that, you just want to stitch along the edge. So I did sew down the edge and then I also surged it as well. Next, we want to attach our elastic. So you want to start off by putting the elastic where the first side seam is at. And then just pin all the way around along the edge of the waist of your skirt. Once you finish, you want to leave about an inch and just cut it off. And make sure that the elastic is overlapped. Now I'm just going to take you to the sewing machine. And I'm just going to do a straight stitch going back and forth. And I'm going to do this a few times because this is going to secure the elastic so that it stays on the waist part of our skirt. Now I'm taking it to the serger. Now you don't have to use a serger. The only reason why I'm using a serger is because I want to use the double needle on here. But when you use a serger you don't want to cut off anything. If it's cutting off any um, SS fabric then that's okay but make sure that you're not cutting off the elastic. And you want to do this all the way around. So with the double needle is just going to give you extra security for the elastic on the waist part of your skirt. You can use a double needle on your regular sewing machine or you can stitch about two times around the waist part using a single needle. Now that I have searched all the way around, I'm going to take it back to the sewing machine. So we're going to stitch in the ditch where that side seam is at. And then we're just going to fold over. And where that seam is at, we're going to stitch in the ditch. So you're not even going to see the thread when we stitch in that ditch. So you just want to place your needle, making sure that you are in the ditch where that side seam is at. And you're going to stitch where the elastic ends. And you want to make sure that when you stitch all the way down that you back stitch and you want to do this for both sides of your skirt. And this is going to hold the elastic in place. So once you have done that, this is pretty much what your skirt should look like. The elastic is in place, it doesn't move, and you can't even tell that the skirt has elastic. 
and by stitching in a ditch you really hold the elastic in place and you can't see it on the outside of the garment. You also want to make sure that you hem the bottom of your skirt. So I fold in about a half an inch or an inch and then you can sew all the way down depending on the seam allowance that you're doing which I did about a half an inch. Other than that, that is pretty much it for this tutorial. Super, super easy. I hope you guys enjoy. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you made a skirt like this, make sure to send it to me or tag me so I can share it on my social media. Other than that, I'll see you next week for a new video.